Hi everyone, it's Rob Watson, the module leader for Tech 3022, and this is the overview summary video of the 24th lecture. That's right, we've got to the end. Who'd have thought? At the beginning of the year, we had that mountain to climb, and we've got there. Uh, so what I want to do in this lecture is review the process of uh, engagement with media that we've talked about, which is the ethnographic ethnographically informed model, netnography, digital sociology, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is really just a, a chance for us to kind of you know, return back to and look at some of the key issues uh, that we've discussed. And what I'm going to do with this one, I've, I provided you a few weeks ago with a copy of a, uh, I suppose, a paper that I'd written which kind of summarises uh, some of the work that I'd done. I did this a year or two ago, uh, which was looking at the, as part of my research work, which was looking at the ethnographic process. Uh, and it offers, if you like, uh, some... Uh, it kind of uh, sifts and sorts a lot of the stuff that was said and how it can be applied to looking at social media and different kinds of media contexts. So hopefully that, that that's proven useful, but I'll just go through this uh, and we can talk about it and discuss uh, any of the kind of key issues. So this is really about the, you know, on our idea of um, we need an, an approach which allows us to understand or helps us to understand the social processes that keep us connected as communities and what they are and how they work. And as our technology changes, as our media forms change and as the representations change and the way that we communicate with each other change, what is different and what is reinforced uh, or you know, what stays the same about our en social engagements, about the relationships that we build, about the identities that we have, about the sense of self. So this is really thinking about the idea that what we kind of need to do and what we've established, I think, in the module is the idea that we need to look back to some forms of um, comprehension and understanding which are sociologically informed. And this is something which is outside of traditional uh, British media studies, which is tends to look at texts, institutions, discourses, uh, regulations, and not kind of social relationships and not social interaction and not, as we talked about last week, symbolic interaction. So this is kind of saying, no, actually, we need to return to some of these baits, these, these factors that drive and that, that structure the way that people interact with each other and form relationships and patterns of relationships in a wider sense. So we'll look at this in terms of, if you like, the... Um, and this is, is related specifically to the, uh, the, the uh, question that you're answering for your uh, final... Uh, assignment, which is, you know, what is the benefit of a, of a of an approach like this? So we'll go through it kind of step by step. It's stuff that we did at the beginning of the year, long time ago now, before Christmas. So it's kind of, you know, what is it that we're looking for? Are we looking for fixed structures? Are we looking for what are called structures of feeling? You know, those kind of intangible uh, elements that exist between us, those kind of ad hoc emergent forms of understanding and interaction uh, that are defined that that define social change but what are we not doing is think is a good question as well we're not treating people as they're in an experiment as they're, they're they're rats in a lab which can be poked and prodded and things like that so we're using techniques which are qualitative as opposed to quantitative we're not measuring and weighing we're not looking at the numbers although that might be useful what we're thinking about is you know on what basis do people what motivates people what what basis do people form relationships and what basis do people engage with each other so this is a process of investigation that is reflexive so we're part of the process ourselves what we do as sociologically informed investigators uh, what we do is we look at a situation when we ask we ask questions about what it is that drives people what it is that motivates people in 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 their interactions why what is it people are trying to achieve when they're expressing themselves and using media in a particular way and can we validate that as a you know as, as a legitimate form of knowledge uh, do we need to just, you know, you know there's, a, there's a pressure to go back to surveys and measurements and, you know, systems analysis and things like that, when in actual fact, people operate in a very 
different way. And it's almost that kind of sense of the rediscovery of the social aspect of our lives. And the idea that, well, it, you know, social media, it's, it's in the title of, the, of, of, of what we're studying. It's the social element of media. So we need particular ways to understand how social uh, dynamics, uh, social processes drive um, a kind of sense of engagement and sense of uh, 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 interaction. And I kind of, you know, what, you know, how do we then form communities and networks uh, on that basis around topics and uh, uh, challenges? So the ethnographic approach is really something which is embedded in uh, a kind of sense of uh, feeling and intuition. You know, it's not, it's not something which is, it doesn't go around touting its objectivity. It is a subjective experience. So it's a kind of narrative, descriptive form of analysis but it's incredibly rich and incredibly insightful when it's done well in order to be able to give us a sense of kind of understanding what the kind of meanings are that people have for certain things because a survey can tell you what but it doesn't tell you why people interact with each other so you can ask people you know you can look at your social media metrics and you can see how many tweets have been retweeted you can see how many you know how many people follow you you can see where they come from and all of this information is amazing but it doesn't tell you why people share things it doesn't tell you what happens on an emotional level and how so the importance of this process and this way of thinking is how do we get into those kinds of levels of thinking uh, so there's there's a lot to think about with this uh, review. Um, ask, we'll have a good conversation and discussion about it. Lots of questions. Uh, the notes are available on the DMU Commons wiki. I these are the ones that I gave out a few weeks ago. So I'll I'll be printing uh, uh, some of these uh, or uh, I'll I'll bring some more with me as well. Uh, otherwise, uh, they're up on the wiki at wiki.our.dmu.ac.uk. Go over to, to the Tech Three O Two Two section. And if you want to carry on the conversation or add anything or share anything, go over to talk.our.dmu.ac.uk and log in uh, there and see if you've got any kind of examples that you can share that you think might be useful for us. But I'll see you at the lecture.